Welcome once again back to The Breakfast and now on entertainment. The Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, has launched a health insurance scheme for its members. The Guild revealed this in a statement shared on its official Instagram page. The AGN also signed a memorandum of understanding with Medicard Health Management, a health services provider, to address the practice of soliciting funds for medical emergencies among its members. It said that Medicard will, from August 17th, be the Guild's approved official health maintenance Maintenance organization, HMO, and the health management services provider. Additionally, they noted it has also developed a group life insurance cover and automatic car insurance renewal at zero cost, among other packages for its members. The Guild said the move had come as part of efforts to prioritize welfare of its members. And joining us live is Emeka Rolas, the president, Actors Guild of Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. What has it taken to arrive at this point where HMO cover is made available to actors? You know, uh, over time, we have seen a lot of our members or actors generally in Nigeria resorting to public health in order to attend to their medical needs. And sometimes uh, it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And uh, all the time we have had such issues, maybe in the course of trying to raise funds for that person, the person dies off. We had it with uh, Prince James Uche, uh, Muna Obiekwe, even uh, the veteran Enebeli Elebuwa. This is simply because uh, the lifestyle of artists needs to be controlled from early in life. If you have a complete good medical record, you may not be hit with these very serious issues that eventually takes one to the grave. And uh, when we looked at all of this, we said, no, we have to find out something so that even the young ones who are presently working, we have to sign up to this HMO and see that their health is in very good uh, stand at all times before other issues might hit them at the result of age. Yeah, let's also, I, I want to also know, um, th there's also been a lot of times where, you know, there have been situations where an actor falls ill and, of course, the results to begging for um, or soliciting funds to cover his health um, 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 uh, bills. Um, but it seems very, very different from what their perceived lifestyle should be. Um, would you say that actors aren't paid enough in the first place? No, 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 no. You say, would I say the actors are not paid enough in the first, first place? Yeah. No, it, uh, the, the industry, as long as, as much as we are shouting how high the industry is, we must accept that it's still burden. And then there are a lot of factors that give in. Most people in Nigeria go very emotional, even in their workplaces. So there are a lot of artists who do stuff, maybe as a result of the work because their friends are producing films. So sometimes they don't make the official rate or the money they have to make. Uh, in an industry where about 10% or 5% is doing very well, you cannot say that that industry is doing very well. That is why we have concentrated on making sure that from the actor side, their welfare is of our paramount interest. We will get to that level of payment. We will surely come to that and deal with it uh, severely when the time comes. Okay, and uh, can you confirm that this, you know, um, a health uh, plan covers every single person, you know, in the Actors Guild of Nigeria? Um, or do, do, do they need to have some level of registration before, you know, this covers them? Yes, it, 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 it's a sign-up. We, we have to go for retail, retail HMO plan, whereby you get the lowest figure for even 1,500 or 800 naira per month. You have access to about 600 hospitals in, around the country. Uh, you have other benefits attached to the HMO. So it's a kind of, when you sign up, you pay quarterly or after six months or one year. But the basic plan, of course, is less than 2,000 naira. We made it very flat so that even the ones who have not begun to make maybe much money in the industry can sign on to that. So instead of wasting your money uh, with data, watching different uh, relevant things on the internet, you can carry that money and push it towards your health, which is important. All right. And, and also, what message do you think an organized HMO, HMO cover sends to the public and also to actors and, of course, people who may want to be a part of uh, the industry? 
the, the message is this. We have even gone beyond that the HMO is not only for registered members of AGN. As long as you're an actor, you're practicing in Nigeria, you have the freedom to sign up to this HMO because your health is important to us. You'll also understand that sometimes you see uh, an actor who is not a member of the guild, when he or she falls sick, the guild will be called upon. At that point, you won't be saying he's not our member or she's not our member. So we have opened it up to even those who are practicing, but they are not yet members of the guild. I, I want to, um, if you can, in as the shortest time possible, are there certain health hazards with acting um, that it maybe has led to some of these illnesses later in life? Well, you know, uh, according to reports, they say that an actor is that person who has participated in very different uh, uh, fields. Uh, you will say is a, is, a, is a jack of all trades because today an actor may play a carpenter role and then in the next film he's playing a mechanic role. So you find out that if you have spent like 20, 25 years in the industry, you will see that you would have attempted all of these professions taking them critically. If you're playing a carpenter, it means in two weeks of that filming, your attitude, your life, your mien, everything will be for a carpenter. So if there are things that a carpenter suffers while on set, uh, while working originally, you will have to suffer those things. All of these things come to affect the actor mentally. The mental balance of the actor begins to cave in as a result of having done different hard work. It's different from uh, maybe a medical doctor who all in the first two years of his life has been practicing as a medical doctor. An actor will be a mechanic, will be a medical doctor, will be a ship owner, will be a driver and all of that. So all of the hazards associated with this profession also affect the actor in different ways. But there is no particular thing that you say is a hazard of the actor, apart from having to get himself involved in all of these professions.